Years ago today, a Scranton family lost their son to a distracted driver. Paul Miller Jr. was killed by a driver of an 18-wheeler in Monroe County. WBRE WIOU Eyewitness News reporter Cody Butler joins us in Scranton with more on a bill that is gaining traction to keep everybody safe on the roads. Cody? Nick, good evening. The Miller family is still grieving and fighting as House Bill 37 is waiting to be passed in Harrisburg, which will be part of Paul Miller Jr.'s legacy. The day before, he came in at work from Garrity's at 3 o'clock and said he was going to the party. I kissed him and hugged him, and I never knew that that would be the last kiss or hug I would ever receive from my child. Eileen Miller holds a piece of her son, Paul Miller Jr., each day. A picture to remember the 21 year old who died on July 5, 2010, by a distracted driver. They said, you know, we're sorry to inform you this morning at, you know, uh, 7.55, he was killed on Route 33 by a semi truck driver. Eileen recounts the moment. Two state troopers broke the news. Even to this day, I could hear my gut wrenching screams, you know, not my son. Years following, she has been fighting to protect motorists from distracted drivers. House Bill 37, known as Paul Miller's Law, is ready to hit the House floor. It's definitely an update that is needed in the Pennsylvania law. And that being, you can use your cell phone, but we don't want you holding it or touching it. We want it in a docking station or on speaker Bluetooth. Representative Rosemary Brown has been working with the Miller family for nearly seven years to pass a sensible primary offense enhanced driver responsibility bill. Every day when they're advocating with me for legislation to keep other people safe, you know, they're continuously reminded of Paul's passing and um, the devastation that they hope no one else has to deal with. Eileen wears a bracelet every day to bring awareness to an increasing issue. It's very important for people to see the reality of what it does in one second when you take your eyes off the road. Paul Miller law is expected to be voted on the House floor sometime in September. Right now, both sides of the aisle are working on amendments to the bill. The Miller family asked people to reach out to their state reps or state senators and ask them to vote for House Bill 37. In Scranton, Cody Butler, 2822 Eyewitness News.